So today we're going to use newspapers to decorate a lamp. Um, I used unicorns as my theme, but you can use whatever appeals to you. So I started with a plain lamp that someone was throwing out because the base was bad, and I fixed the wobbliness in the base. And I already had kind of a nice little pattern on it, but I really wanted unicorns. So I cut a bunch of pieces out of the newspaper. Um, these are all those little plates that they showcase in the newspaper, so I cut a few of those out and I kind of placed out where I wanted to put them. And I painted the back of each of them with some tacky glue, coating the entire thing. And then I just stuck them in different places on the lamp to kind of make it look like the unicorns were growing out of the trees. Just like that. So I got my little tree of unicorns. And then up at the top I put another unicorn and the little magic is a foot sign. And so then I went over each of the pieces of newspaper with some clear varnish. And it makes them look shinier so they don't look just like newspaper. It's kind of hard to see on the camera but shines them up a lot. And so then I got some fabric medium. And shout out to One Word and Kristen of Nerdy Creations for telling me about this stuff. And so then I took a stick and I made three um, notches on it. Because you're supposed to mix two parts fabric medium to one part paint. So I got my little mixing cup and my real scientific mixing stick and I mixed in two parts of the fabric medium and then one part of purple metallic paint because that was what I really wanted and it didn't come in fabric paint so mixing the two together to make fabric paint stirred it all together and then I had myself a nice metallic purple paint so I took a foam brush and coated the entire lampshade so then I cut some big unicorn pictures out of the newspaper, but they all had like antidepressants on the back of it and I didn't like the way it shone through. So I just made photocopies of them instead so that they would all have white backs. And then I just took some more glue and painted that on the back of them, just like I did with the little ones, putting the entire back in the tacky glue. And so then I just stuck each of those big pictures onto the lampshade, smoothing out all the wrinkles. So I got three of them on the lampshade, just like that. And so then once the glue was dry, I just took some more of that clear varnish and went right over it to make them shiny so they didn't look like newspapers. So once the varnish was dry, I took some gold puffy paint and went around the edges and it just gives it kind of a smoother finish and helps keep the edges from ripping. And so here's what the lamp looks like um, when it's off. Sorry, I've got it kind of in a dark corner here, but you can see all the newspaper pictures on it all the way around there. And then with the lights on, this is what it looks like with the lights on. So the paper kind of shines through and you can see that the purple paint, it's not cracked the way it was in my boho lamp because I've got the fabric medium. So I turned the purple paint into fabric paint. And actually the only problem I've had with this lamp is some weird guy in a red suit who keeps trying to go after my unicorns. Unicorns? Did someone say unicorns? <laughs> 